I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Okay, so Mommy's birthday is coming up, and she likes practical gifts, so I made you a list of things she could really use, and here's $100 for you to spend, okay? Now, what do you think you'll buy? Uh, I think I'll get a stunt quadcopter and a battle droid and maybe a Crusher BMX bicycle. Okay, now you realize that's all stuff that you want, but not anything that's on her list and you're way over budget. True, but this is my money now. Happy birthday! <laughs> I think we've all had that experience. And I think it's also symbolic that the president announced his latest budget proposal at an elementary school. You know, the country has a long list of practical items we could really use. Lower taxes so the economy can get moving again. A clean break from Obamacare would be helpful. How about an IRS that treats everybody the same? But his election year budget looks a lot more like a shopping list of all the voting blocks he'd like to buy. Universal Preschool buys the teachers union. Green Jobs buys the Enviro voters. And the list goes on. Meanwhile, he wants to raise taxes on people who create private sector jobs. So basically, his budget would give money to people who generally tend to vote for people who happen to be in the same party, and he wants to raise taxes on people who generally vote for people who happen to be in that other party. And his budget is over budget. Now, to be perfectly fair, Democrats and Republicans in Congress have been just as irresponsible with how they spend our tax dollars. They each have their own shopping lists. But this is an election year, so it's a perfect time for us to remind them whose money it is, what that money is for, and why you can't run up the credit card forever. And you might suggest that they can buy their own birthday present this year. 